Good morning, this is Kelloland On The Go, with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. Authorities have made an arrest in a child and animal abuse investigation near Lenox. Heidi and Clint Enan face four felony accounts of child abuse and more than a dozen counts of animal neglect. As it relates to the four felony child abuse charges, uh, each one of those counts would be punishable by up to 10 years in the South Dakota State Penitentiary and uh, a fine amount as well. Authorities tell us each child has been removed from the home and are in a safe place. Yesterday, a judge set Clint and Heidi Enan's bonds at $500 each. An effort to end the state sales tax on anything sold for human consumption fell short on Election Tuesday. A large majority of voters said no to Initiated Measure 28. Supporters specifically look to end the tax on groceries. Opponents argued that this would eliminate the tax on more the items than just food. South Dakota is one of two states that still taxes groceries at a full allowable tax. Digital reporter Ray Yost has a closer look at IM28. That's in a Kelloland.com original report online now. Another one of the ballot measures defeated last night was referred Law 21. People voted against the ballot measure that would impose a $1 per foot sub surcharge for the carbon dioxide pipeline and other requirements. Supporters argued it was a market opportunity, but the no side says it was misleading. It's a sellout to uh, corporate America. I repeat that again and again. It's, it's unnecessary. It's dangerous. And why should we pay for it with our tax dollars? Jim Eschenbaum says in terms of next steps, they'll wait to see if Summit Carbon Solutions reapplies for a permit in South Dakota. Now let's get a check on our weather with meteorologist Scott Munt. Scott? All right. Good morning, everybody. We are looking at areas of fog again for this morning. Dense fog advisories are out in central, eastern, southeastern, Kettleland, much like what we had yesterday. Visibility will slowly improve as we continue through the morning. Mostly cloudy this afternoon. Temperatures in the 40s to near 50 degrees for afternoon highs. Lower 40s today in western South Dakota. More details on your forecast coming up. Thank you, Scott. Voter turnout across Sioux Falls had several people waiting in lines outside the doors of their polling place. But the wait didn't scare them. People who voted at Gloria Day Lutheran Church stuck out the 30-minute wait time over the lunch hour. It's just important that we make our voices heard. Simple as that. No matter whether you're right or left or red or blue, it's important that we make our, our voices heard. The Secretary of State's office is expecting about a 60% voter turnout this election. Another restaurant is now open in the Steel District development of downtown Sioux Falls. Ironwood Steakhouse opened yesterday. The two-story restaurant is the third restaurant from SDR Hospitality in the Steel District. A ribbon cutting was held yesterday afternoon to celebrate the occasion. That's the great thing about downtown is you can come downtown and then decide where you want to eat. So the more variety we have, the more choices we have for uh, the growing population of Sioux Falls, you know, the better. The rising tide is going to lift ships for the uh, downtown restaurant scene. Dahlia Kitchen and Bar as well as Big Sioux Burger opened in the Steel District last month. It's a campaign to collect hygiene products, not votes, at Brandon Valley High School. The students are participating in a service project in recognition of Veterans Day, with families giving everything from shampoo and conditioner to first aid kits and gift cards. In conjunction with just celebrating Veterans Day as a whole, we decided to um, have a service project for the Sioux Falls Area Veterans Community Project. Um, it's something that uh, is definitely um, needed. You know, uh, veterans give so much of their time and effort and uh, energy and in some cases bodies to our country that we wanted to help them in any way we can, um, even in small ways like this. Donations will be accepted through tomorrow. Brandon Valley is also hosting a Veterans Day assembly tomorrow morning at 935 inside the Activity Center. The event is free and open to the public. That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Carstens. Brian? All right, our weather picture today, watching some of that cloud cover, the fog issues, but overall some improvement today. Temperatures are rebounding back to the upper 40s. 
to lower 50s. So we'll take that. It looks like the far west to a couple of isolated spots of either a light shower or little light snow in the hills, but that looks to be pretty minimal. Most of the bigger snows are down there in Colorado where we've got winter storm warnings. Eventually that system will try to take a track towards us, but it's going to take a few days, probably this weekend. Overnight tonight, expect more clearing. And then as a result of that, really cooling down. We've got 21 in Phillip, 21 in Rapid City by daybreak tomorrow morning. That's pretty cold in Sioux Falls. We're around 30. And then tomorrow during the day part forecast, we'll rebound here. Uh, upper 40s, low 50s will be pretty common across uh, much of the region here. Now there is that low pressure center there sitting over Arizona, New Mexico. It is going to take that track eventually as it breaks loose and gets carried here to the northeast. As that happens, well, you do have to remember this system may lose its punch here. So we're not calling for necessarily heavy rain, but there's some rain uh, around here in South Dakota, Nebraska, Iowa, as the center of low takes that trajectory. And then it'll be a pretty fast mover. It'll get scooped up by the jet stream to the north on Sunday. And in its wake, it looks like a dry start early next week. And then yet again, another trough kind of digging here in the north central plains by the middle of next week. So it's still an active forecast, but we do see some breaks and temperatures still averaging above normal. That's a pretty big deal too. 50 today, Sioux Falls for your forecast. 42 though in Rapid City with the wind from the northwest. Here's a look at your seven day forecast and temperatures are holding here into the 50s as we round out the week and into early next week. So that again, uh, considering our normal highs are now in the upper 40s to near 50. Aberdeen also a chance of showers this weekend on Saturday. High temperature at 54, 56 by Sunday. Pier in central South Dakota, a lot of 50s as well. And I think even for Rapid City, no threat of any sustaining winter weather yet. In fact, 60, just the opposite by Sunday. Check out the details. They're available online at kettleland.com.